In 2022, Harley Davidson had the low rider rest priced at 17,530. And now for 2023, the price is gonna be 18,199. Here are the two reasons why Harley Davidson will be charging you more for your low rider rest. to the video guys so yes Harley Davidson has um the price up on the low rider s's here now the price on the low rider s was something that caught my eye right away as soon as they released the uh, new colors for 2023 and I was wondering why so I did a little digging did a little reading and the first reason which is the main one is going to be because Harley Davidson is actually gonna give you cruise control on the bike standard so if you remember Going back to 2017 when Harley Davidson had the Dyna Lowrider S, that bike had cruise control. Now fast forward to 2020 to the model that I have, that bike released and it didn't have cruise control. And a lot of people, including myself, were like, well, why not? Why did the Dyna model have cruise control but this brand new improved soft tail chassis does not? To me, I just, it, it didn't make any sense. Anyways, fast forward three years. Cruise control is now standard, which is great. It should have been like that from the beginning. So I don't know why Harley Davidson did that, but obviously it, it costs more to put cruise control on a bike. Uh, so yes, we're now looking at a pricier bike compared to the 2022 to 2023. Now, if you ask me, is the cruise control worth it? Uh, from a person who rides a road glide, I absolutely use the cruise control all the time on that bike, and yes, I, I I think it I think it's worth it. So the fact that it's on it now is a huge huge plus. So I mean, good job Harley Davidson on that. Now for the second one, I did a little further digging on that, and I noticed that they charge less money for the Gunship Gray last year, as opposed to the White Sam Pearl that they're having this year. So in 2022, you were able to get that Lowrider S in Vivid Black for 17,530. Now, if you wanted it in Gunship Gray, it was gonna be an additional $450. Now, fast forward to 2023. The price is now 18,199 for that Vivid Black. And if you want that white sand pearl, well, that's just gonna cost you an additional $525. So paint costs more this year. I don't know if it's because white sand pearl is a little bit more expensive than gunship gray, which I highly doubt, but paint is more expensive now. Like X, white sand pearl, white X, kind of whitish X. That kind of made sense. <laughs> Anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. What do you guys think about the increase this year? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not? Or are you the type of rider who does not care about cruise control and you'd rather not have it on your bike? And talking about low rider S, I will be having my low rider S back in the shop this week. Um, we are building out a 122 on that bike uh, for the details will be out on a video coming out this Friday so tune in for that um, and then I should have the bike back by the end of the week as well so a lot of cool videos come with that I cannot wait to get on that bike feel it out 120 going from 114 to 122 that bike is gonna be a beast I mean it's just <sighs> anyways guys like always let the force be with you bike safe and enjoy the ride baby peace